Hello, my name's Seth and this is Will and today we're going to be talking about the all-new G-Series from Valtra. We're going to be talking about the high-tech active Inversu, all available from 100 to 140 horsepower. I'm going to be going through some of the key sales features of the all-new G-Series starting with the front of the tractor using the individual Valtra key to lift the bonnet. Here we can see the main cooling pack here accessed via this side door, removable. I can get in there with the airline and blow any dust and debris back out the radiator to keep it nice and clean. Moving to the side, we can see our coolant header tank, our air filter, and our diesel filters. Here on the right-hand side of the tractor, we have our engine oil dipstick, filler cap, and filter. With the G-Series, we've got the option of a three-ton front linkage or a front weight carrier frame. With the front linkage, we can also have the optional front PTO unit if needed. We've got these nice ball carriers and a spring-loaded clip for our top link. Also, you can have the optional front valve quick couplers. We have a nice seven-pin electric socket, our D-pad for operating the front linkage, and our first front valve. Moving to the front axle of the tractor, you can see excellent ground clearance here with the optional front hydraulic suspension, also our front steering mudguards. Here on the left hand side of the tractor we've got our nice locking fuel and add blue caps. We can get the diesel tank in either the standard plastic or the forestry steel tank. We've also got a nice courtesy light here on the steps so when we open the door at night we can see the steps clearly. Under the cab here, we've got our block heater socket, an air outlet, and also nice aluminium wide tread steps. We have a large choice of fixed or adjustable rims available with configurations for wheel weights. Also, we have these extended studs here so we can fit up to two spaces to get the correct offset. There are two transmission types available, 40K and 40K Eco the eco version achieving top speed at lower RPM. Here on the back of this tractor we have our single line hydraulic brakes with the optional twin line air. We could also have twin line hydraulic without the need for air if need be. Here we have our seven pin trailer socket. We have our air outlet coupler for cleaning down implements in the back of the tractor. Also our power beyond load sensing. On the right here we have our isobus plug, our rear quick couplers, our free flow return and again load sensing hydraulics. The rear linkage has a lift capacity of six ton with the option of automatic or manual link arm stabilizers. We also have a spring loaded top link clip with the option to control the rear linkage off the left or the right hand side mudguard. As standard we have 540 and 1000 speed PTO selection with the optional extra of 540 eco or ground speed PTO. If we remove this stub cover here we can see the stub shaft itself bolted arrangement either the 6 spline or the 21 spline 1000 shaft. On this tractor here we have the Dramone push out pickup hitch with the drawbar bracket placement on the left hand side here, easy to get to. We also have the option of a standard pickup hitch as well. Here on the right hand side of the tractor we have our toolbox at the top with space for pins, link balls etc. We also have a locking battery box 
with a clear sticker on the side for all the grease points on the tractor and front loader if fitted. Easy access to the battery terminals. We pull a pin. We then have two nice aluminium tread steps up to the right hand door. Our exhaust after treatment system is tucked away nice and neatly behind this cover, away from any debris. Also, our exhaust design is nice and slim, fall behind the sight line of the A-pillar to improve visibility. We have a number of different lighting options on the G-Series. We have the lower road lights and the upper road lights, together with the standard work lights or the premium or the premium LED work light package. At the rear of the tractor, as standard, we have this LED rear hitch light. Plus, you would have four halogen rear work lights. This tractor has the Premium Plus LED 6 work light kit. We'll now move on to the in-cab features, starting with the accessibility. With the fold-away passenger seat and the three points of contact. We've then got the steering wheel movement with the pedal down into our position with further adjustment on the side for in and out with the steering wheel. Our three main seat adjustments are done by moving the seat forward and backward pulling this lever, moving the seat right to left with this lever down here and then also the seat up and down with the lever down here. We then also can move the armrest left to right using the bar underneath and also up and down. We've also got a sun riser that we can pull down and one that also covers the front windscreen as well. In an active and high tech model it is also possible to spin the seat 180 degrees. On the right hand side B pillar we have our electric wing mirror adjustment, our heated wing mirror switch, rear window wiper washer, beacons, front and rear work lights, lower heater fan and our front suspension. Up here in the roof panel we have our DAB digital radio, fan speed, aircon on and off and our temperature dial. In this corner we have the power socket set, we have our twin USB socket, we have our implement switch, two 10 amp power sockets, a cigarette lighter, a three pin power socket, display port and an ISO seven socket as well. We have a wide range of factory fitted loader options with integrated loader brackets with a quick two hydraulic couplers with the optional fourth live which are fully integrated into the loader beam. We also have covered grease points. Moving to the front of the loader we have many different options of headstock with then also the option for hydraulic or manual implement locking. You can then also have one or two quick couplers on the front. We also have a headstock level guide which we can see from inside the cab.